Yo, what is up guys? How's everyone doing today? Uh, this is Carnage, and I'm going to be streaming a early look at a game called Moving Out. Um, if this game is actually coming out uh, on April 28th, so a couple days away, not too far from now. And uh, yeah, what's up everyone in chat? How's everyone doing? Uh, this game is from Team 17, as well as SMG Games, and Dev M Games as well worked on it. Uh, let me know if the audio is okay. Should be good from last time. Yeah, it looks like a lot of fun, uh, Lady Margaret. Um, let's see, smooth, smooth moves. Move. You bought it, we break you it. it. We break it. <laughs> yeah, I'll break things all right in this game, I'm sure. <laughs> you know me. Um, there's one thing about this game that it definitely seems cool with the co-op. There's single player and co-op, but unfortunately there's no online co-op. But that's all good. We're going to play single player. Um, but yeah, let's check the some basic stuff on the options first. Uh, let me know if you can hear me okay, guys. Uh, it should be good. If I need to, I can change the audio in the game as well. Just let me know. Um, and yeah, let's take a look at the credits real quick. I always like to go through uh, looking at all the settings and whatnot, options and stuff like that. That dude's just rolling down the street in a wheelchair. Okay. I mean, whatever way, <laughs> whatever that way he wants to do it. He's going to help move out. Uh, accessibility options, see? Um, and that's the thing. This game, I know they, they really strive for accessibility, for real. Like, they, uh, they have all different sorts of options in the game uh, for different types of gamers and uh, trying to, you know, suit, up, suit for everyone. So, that's awesome. Smooth move. Uh, let me check that you out. We Here we go. It. They were talking a lot about accessibility. So they might add more stuff too. I mean, there's dyslexic friendly and user interface, which I don't know. Oh, that's just how big you want the writing to be. Okay, that's cool. Uh, then there's audio, of course, your basic options there in general. Dual mover mode. Ah, I wonder if you could play co-op by yourself. <laughs> I don't know if that's what that means, but um, let's see what options or languages are supported. English. Uh, I don't know what that is. <laughs> it changes the num the name of the language. So, Svenska is that Russian, Polish, Dutch, French, French, Spanish, Italian, uh, Portuguese, Polish. There's Polish. Russian. That's Russian. Uh, is that Korean or Chinese or Japanese? I'm not sure. They got a lot uh, a lot of languages supported. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's pretty cool. Oh, okay. Sangrias will be happy about that. Uh, <laughs> that it's uh, any. He plays a lot of games that have like any game that has like Korean supported. He'll definitely play it, even if it, if he doesn't like it. Like, he'll just support it because uh, you know he's got to show his country some love. So. Uh, shout out to Sangrias and uh, and shout out to all you guys uh, for stopping by and checking out the stream. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm going to put the store link here. I think there's a pre-order up available as already. Uh, so there's the demo, but actually there's a store link. Let me grab it for you guys here. And uh, we'll get started in a minute or two, just as everyone's uh, seeing the notification about the stream. And yeah, there is a pre-order link. Here's the pre-order. So if you guys like what you see during the stream, you could um, pre-order the game, and it will be out in a couple days on the 28th. All right, so we're going to continue. Uh, let's see, what was I up to? Slot 3. Uh, you know what? We're going to start from... Do you guys want to see from the very beginning? Let's just start from the beginning. Uh, this is cool, too. You could actually get achievements with the assist mode on. So they don't they, they let you play any way you want and anyone can um, you know any age or any like type of gamer uh, that's awesome so we're just gonna put all this on I tried it with it off it's not bad but it makes it easier and you know more enjoyable just to show off the different stuff so we're gonna put it on for now uh, I could always go through another save file if I want and like you know change things but that's good um, there we go. So let's see, be the toaster dude. <laughs> and you can change your customization, body, accessory. <laughs> what the hell? Hypnotized. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know if you could unlock more stuff as well. He's going to dab or dance. Oh yeah, wait, there's a dab, right? No, that's not a dab. What the hell is he doing? 
the Macarena, the robot. Hey, Macarena. <laughs> Come on, there's no dab. It's like the Irish jig, isn't it? <laughs> now, let's do this one. I don't know. Just looks weird and stupid, so it sounds good. All right. There we go. We're ready. But yeah, I'm going to show you guys from the top that uh, some of you wanted to see the beginning, so I, I didn't get that far off stream, so why not? <clears throat> uh, let's see. So we start out... We don't start here in the city, but we I love driving around here. You just be silly and... Uh, it's just random driving around. Uh, mandatory training is the first level, is the tutorial, so I'm going to show you guys the very beginning of the game. Very easy and straightforward tutorial also. <laughs> I love this. It's like, what the hell is this? And then you're like, are we still playing a video game? So old school, Mankind 80s. Has been moving and lifting objects since the dawn of time. Welcome, new employees, to the Smooth Moves family. This is your first step to becoming a certified furniture arrangement and relocation Farts. technician. <laughs> the acronym. Gotta love it. I didn't even pick that up last time. I was. Now I'm paying more attention to it. Moving furniture. Well, you're in luck. This training module will provide all the <laughs> fart. necessary information. He said you need fart, to be Davis. A safe and productive <laughs> member of right. the smooth moves. Picking up objects is an essential moving technique. We've tried kicking them, but this way is Yeah, this way is much faster and more fun. Did you know jumping wasn't moving solo? No. So left left trigger with your back. Oh, right trigger is to grab something. A is to jump. X is to bash it around. Or just well, not really that you can't but I can grab it, put it in there. Nice work. You can also throw items, but don't worry. These boxes are trained for this. <laughs> you got this. And here it's showing two-player action, basically. For faster moves, try throwing objects. The ground will the catch ground it. will catch it. Every mover's arch enemy, fragile objects. Don't drop these sensitive there we go. Uh oh, a ghost! A g -g -g ghost! Slap, him Slap out of the that way ghost! If he gets too Boom! Close. Okay. Oops. Oops, I did it again. I slapped your thing off. <laughs> that doesn't sound right. Slap your thing off. Take, Take that, that mailbox. mailbox. Bam! This. Yo, what's up, Stagger? How's it going, Lady M317? Uh, Bukowski. Anyone else that I missed uh, joining earlier? Filthy Lopez, Turbo Tastic. Wadi, thank you all for stopping by. Mad Eye, how's it going, everyone? If I missed anyone's name, I apologize. Uh, but yeah, this game seems like a lot of fun Always so far. Uh, this has got to be just a preview, next. not a review or anything. So uh, shout out again and thanks to the developers and publishers for providing a code to showcase the game. Nice. And uh, deliver these there. to the truck. I believe in you. Yo, thanks, Bukowski, for the sparks. You did it! <laughs> much, much better, better than, than the Pomeranian, Pomeranian we tried, we tried last training last time. Um, I'm surprised the Pomeranian did better than... I thought the Pomeranian would be doing better than I did. <laughs> Your skills meet the minimum legal requirements to start moving. Fart. I just love that. Alright, here we go. That was the training level. Now we're moving on to the real deal. Actually, first we can drive around aimlessly. Uh, I don't remember what the first level was. I unlocked, like, one or two other ones so far. I think it was Holly's Home. Is this the first level? Let's see. Yeah, I, on this save file, it's, uh, like I said, I started from the beginning, so... Here we go. Now, like I was saying, in the assist options, you could still get achievements with assists on, which is cool. So you can play the way you want to. And anyone is, you know, able to play. It's a, it's a family-friendly game, it seems, aside from some of the puns or jokes. But, you know, for the most part, it's very, uh, it's good for all ages, I would think. Alright, so. Also, there's an achievement to slap the mailbox in every level. So, do that. And then, uh, once you beat the level, by the way, yeah, it does work. So, that's cool, lady. It's going to be easy uh, for most of the achievements, I think. Um... So yeah, the thing that I, a little gripe that I have about the game, it's not a big deal by any means, but 
You can't do the three optional objectives at all the first time you play through the level. Only after doing the level one time will the um, optional objectives unlock. And, you know, there's things like, uh, you know, get the, um, break all the glass in a level, don't break any glass in a level, um, don't let the pet get inside the house, there's, uh, you know, bring a certain object to the truck that's not in there that you gotta find, you know, there's all sorts of different optional objectives. And yeah, the thing that kind of sucks is that you can't just do them all first try, like right when you play the level for the first time. So they try to get you to do replay value a little bit. Not a bad thing. Um, also, I'm going to try for the gold medal. I don't think I put assists on this time, did I? Uh, let's take a look. Enable assist mode from the main menu. I thought I did that. Let's, let's try something here. I want to just test this out. Because I maybe you have to do it from the beginning of a game. Uh, if that's the case, I'm going to load up the other game that I did and just do the same level again. I think that's what I'll do. So once you start a game without it, uh, hey, this is out on April 28th. It's a couple days from now, so not not too long, guys. Smooth All right, so move. let me load up this file. So Assist mode is on. Wait, maybe you can still change it. Oh, you can enable assist mode from here. There we go. I thought I did that before, but... Alright. That's fine. It saves my settings, though. But yeah, this is from the same people who uh, published Overcooked and uh, a lot of popular games that people like playing co-op. So, you know, it's, it's right up your alley. I'm sure a lot of you guys I know in chat uh, played and streamed that game. And enjoy it. I suck at Overwatch. Not Overwatch. Did I say Overwatch? Overcooked. God damn it, I'm good at Overwatch. I suck at Overcooked, though. <laughs> I also suck at remembering names of things. Um, yeah. <laughs> Blame K4. Alright, Holly's level. Let's do this one. Shame. Yeah, I know, right? My favorite... One of my favorite games, Overwatch. Next, God forbid, I, uh... <laughs> I mess about... Mess up with Gems of War. Yeah. All right, so let me see here if we have the options on now. There we go, we have everything on. Let's try it. <laughs> you can just take the whole table out. I love the physics though. That's one of the best things about the game. You know, just how much you can... Oh shit, wait, what? Okay, Gems of War, never heard of it. <laughs> All right, so the highlighted items are the ones you need apparently, and they disappear, but that's something you could also change, by the way, guys. It makes it easier, so you don't have to, like, worry about stuff blocking the truck. Uh, but yeah, it, it seems very basic at first, but they add a lot of cool ideas into the levels and puzzles and stuff, the way you have to get the objects out of the out of the house and whatnot. Uh, it can get a little insane. I might try a level without the uh, assist mode on, too. I could always change it, so we'll see how it goes. But since I'm starting out, you know, give it a shot. Oh yeah, you could uh, throw stuff. I don't know why I'm standing there. <laughs> uh, there we go. Could throw it in. Doesn't go that far, but... Also, let me know if the audio is still good. Uh, wait, is it radio as well? Shit. Could jump and throw it. There we go. Can barely hear the game itself. Oh wow, that's a, that's a first. Usually it's... Uh, the other way around, right? Um, audio, is that better? That should be better. I mean, it doesn't matter about the sound effects that much, right? You got some audio pumping now. Better? Okay, cool. If so, I could always change my mic volume as well again. I really don't like messing with the mic volume, though. It's like at a good spot right now. So, some objects you can't throw out there. Um, like the refrigerator or whatever. Hey, your refrigerator is running. You better go catch it. <laughs> uh, the bed you obviously can't throw. Unless you get some, like, superhuman tact. But, uh, we're going to pull this up here. And I'm not even trying to get the gold medal, but we're probably going to get it in on assist mode. They give you a lot of extra time, as you can see. I'm not even, like, rushing it. Uh, toaster. 
Wait, I can't throw that? Oh no, wait. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I thought the, uh, for a second the item was a toaster, but that's my fucking character. Oh my god, I'm losing it already, guys, and we're only in, like, 15 minutes in. <laughs> oh, man. Alright. Uh, let's see, what's that? Oh, there's a grill. There we go. Um, where's the last item? I don't see it. Anyone see it? It's not highlighting. It's not the lawn chair. Oh shit, I just broke the door. Hope they have insurance. <laughs> um, I really don't see it anywhere. Oh, there it is. It was just highlighted on the bottom. And... Boom. There we go. What a great workout. I broke a sweat. I think you broke a chair. <laughs> Nice. Dude, he almost ran him over. What the hell? He's just standing there. Oh my god. And easily gold medal with like two minutes to spare. See, now now that you beat the level and get the medal, then the um, objectives show up. The optional stuff. That's what I was talking about. Where it would be better if it would just show up in the, in the first time. But, you know, that's fine. Sometimes you can't do all the objectives in one shot anyway. So, not a big deal. Let's, let's do this again and try the objectives. Uh, I've done that already, but I'll show you guys. Just to give an idea of like what the objectives are like. Alright, here we go. So you can't pause it though to look at your objectives, so I gotta read it again. That's kind of dumb. Also my fault for not reading it. Alright. So, let's see. Another area unlocked. Or you could replay this level. And it shows you if you have your medal and your objectives. So, you can easily track stuff. Uh, if you guys are wondering the achievement list. Yes, there is. <laughs> there are odd achievement points. You start the game and get one. Uh, that's their... You know, we had a whole debate about this on Twitter. Some people care about this shit and some people don't. Um, you know, it's to each their own. But uh, they are... Like I said, it's easy to get the achievements for the most part because of the assist mode. So yeah, and there's achievement tracking, which is nice too. So um, that's showing up there. A hundred windows. Uh, let's see. You know, I just realized something though. I just realized something interesting, guys. I, I kind of want to test this out. I did a gold medal on another story level before on a different save file. And now it's going up again here. So I wonder if I test it out. We should test it out and see if that works, because that'll be make it really easy. If you could just make another save file and do another gold medal, you know what I mean? Yeah, you know what I'm thinking, though. <laughs> okay, for hacking. Oh, man, I got to test it out now. 40%. I'm going to try it. Oh, come on, Jordan. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see. I'm going to try that out, guys. I'm not even, not even kidding. We're going to achievement hunt and test it out. And then we'll try some new levels after that. So, so we're gonna move, track move. that achievement we, Chuck. for testing purposes. Yeah, definitely will, definitely. Um, whatever, we'll put it on the screen, right? Yeah, there we go. And we'll do a new game on slot two. Enable assist mode. We gotta go through the tutorial again, but that's all right. That'll be quick. It's gonna be her for this time. Not that, I don't think they matter. They're just visual uh, differences. You can't make a move without smashing some eggs or a TV. Right. You're probably asking yourself. All right, now that we can speed run the tutorial, now that we did it like two times. Well, you're in luck. This training module will provide all the necessary... So this one doesn't count as a gold medal, but we'll see for the first level if that works. Did you know yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Moving solo, oh shit, that no was an epic problem. fail. <laughs> I pulled the air. You can also Speed run! But don't worry, these boxes are trained for this. 
I think you can dash too with the uh, maybe it's B. I don't know. Every mover is arch enemy. Fragile objects. Don't drop these sentinels. Oh well, too late. I dropped it already. A ghost. Slap him out of the way. All right, so I hit the mailbox. Does that count? What is massive window attack? Oh, that was from last time. Actually, did any other ones go up? Not that time. But we shall see. Always focus on what needs to be moved next. You're almost there. I believe in you. You did it. You're much better than the Pomeranian. But yeah, I'm going to test it out and see. Time. And then we'll do some new levels, of course, after that. I'm being the achievement guinea pig, guys. Come on. <laughs> Your skills meet the minimum Wait, go long. What's that one? Throw. Okay, that's, that's a cumulative achievement. That makes sense. But we shall see if the gold medal uh, goes up. All right, here we go. Pretty chill game so far, though. I like the art style, also. And where is her house? Come on. There it is. <clears throat> okay, let's go for that gold medal again. <clears throat> yeah, there's also an achievement for 111% in the game, which I'm guessing means do everything, and then uh, that's 111 gamer score achievement as well. Alright, here we go. Oh, too bad I can't... I wonder if you can, like, if you're skilled enough to actually get both things on the uh, table and then move the table at the same time. You can just, like, bring things at once. Probably, like, some crazy speedrun tactics. Uh, I like how when you pull out an object, sometimes they're stuck to the wall, like, it wired in, and you just fucking pull out the wire. Like, whatever, no big deal. I'll just take that out of there and move it out of your way. Couch. Everything's gotta go. It's liquidation sale. <laughs> All right. Can I throw this one? No, I can't. That was a uh, terrible throw. All right. This one I can jump and throw. Oh no! <laughs> the hell! It was still stuck in the uh, thing. And refrigerator. I could also go out the back door there. Um, some levels you're gonna have to obviously, you know figure out the puzzles and strategize about how you get the objects out. Uh, the harder shaped areas and stuff to, uh, to like, you know, basically drag different items out into the truck. Uh, there might be hazards and other enemies and things like that. I'm not sure yet. Uh, the massive window attack, I think, is the uh, break a certain amount of glass. So that's going up. But that one is to be expected. Uh, you could also press left trigger or what was it? Left stick? Uh, y. Oh, Y highlights the objects. There we go. That's exactly what we needed. Yep, there we go. Too bad you can't hold two things, like with one, one in both hands. It doesn't let you do that. Unless later on they tell you how to do that. Uh, but either way, we're almost there already. And we'll see if it works. The only thing I wonder is if the 100%, 111% will unlock by doing this trick anyway, because, uh, yeah, I don't know about that. Let me look at the, uh, the 111 achievement. Or is it do everything, right? There we go, that one. So if this goes up, then that might actually work. <laughs> we'll see. 10% on that one. That'll be awesome if it works. I mean, either way, if it doesn't work, it still won't be that hard to do, I don't think. <clears throat> so, is that the last item? I think I, I have the achievement tracker covering it, so... Here we go, moment of truth. Let's see if anything goes up. Wait for it. Come on. Um... 
Not seeing anything yet. Return to map, maybe that's when it loads? I don't know. <clears throat> Doesn't seem like it, right? Unless it's like delayed. Huh. I could have sworn it was going up last time. Yo, thanks for the follow, uh, Mala. And did not go up that time, did it? Yo, Jamie Reloaded, how's it going? Thanks for the follow. Alright. Um, also, guys, if you haven't seen, there is a giveaway going on. So I'm going to type it in the chat. You guys can enter for a chance to win Hotline Miami Collection. All you got to do is follow, uh, follow me on Mixer here if you're not already. And then go ahead and retweet that tweet. And uh, also reply with your Mixer username in that, on, that on that tweet there. Uh, yeah, I actually ended up um, buying Hotline Miami right away when it came out because I was super hyped for that one. And then I ended up getting a code as well. So I figured, why not? Give it away. So good luck, everyone, entering for that one. I'm just driving around here, just doing random shit, like GTA top-down style. Um, but let's actually do the next level. All right, here we go. I guess it's not working with that. I don't know. I don't think anything else went up. <laughs> I love this one. Deliver elite items. 1337. All right. Uh, we'll take the achievement tracker off now. That was just good to test it out, you know? All right. There we go. I slapped the mailbox. Did I slap the mailbox in the first one? I don't remember now. You know, I'm getting confused, so I'm just going to um, restart this. I'm going to go to the other file. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just... Because I could load up any level anyway that I've gotten to. So it's not a big deal. Uh, we're going to back out to the menu a second. And then get on to the new level. Smooth moves. You bought it. We break it. Uh, we're going to delete the other files. Not that one. Not the bottom one. There we go. Okay. We're going to be Toaster Dude again. And... Dance. There we go. Why not? We'll do the robot. So what are you guys all playing today, or what are you up to? Anything good? Anything interesting that's uh, that you guys are playing? VHS Superstore? Uh, that's, I think, where you could replay stuff. Well, you know, you could... Not sure what that is yet. Um, let's go to some other stuff, though. We got the training level done already. We got this one done with all the objectives. We got that one done, which I didn't... Uh, I'll, I'll do this one. So, see, those are the goals on this level. Um, I already did them, but I'm going to do it again. So, show you guys this level. And then we'll move on to a, new, a brand new level. Uh, don't break the vase, deliver the turtle, and goal. Taking a break from the ind Indie Alphabet Challenge. For playing Worms for the Game Pass quest. Oh, yeah. Um, bully again since 2006. Damn, that was old school, dude. Nice. Doug hates his job. Is Oh, yeah, that, that game is a weird game, but cool. Um, and Taimori, whatever that game is, <laughs> Anthem, unfortunately. Yeah, I don't know, I bought that on sale. It's okay. I played it on EA, or what was it, EA Access a while back. But nothing special, yeah. I know a lot of people had a hype for that game, and then it just didn't live up to the hype, unfortunately. Oh well. So, you put the turtle in the house, I think, or on the truck. I'm not sure what it was, but anyway. Or was it Don't Let the Turtle In? I don't remember. We're just going to beat the level, though. Damn, turtle! The turtle is like... Let's see if I can throw him over the fence. 
Hey, throw throw the turtle in the goal. <laughs> Damn turtle. There, get over there. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Children of Mortar, yeah, Morda. That's a great game. Madden 20. Yeah, a lot of good games. Uh, I, I didn't really get into that Madden stuff, though, but I, I don't know. Not too big on sports games that much. I like playing sports more than watching them and, and playing them on video games, but to each their own. Oh, I can't throw that? Grill? Damn. But yeah, this game uh, seems cool. It's just, uh, I, I wish it had online. I feel like this game would be a lot more fun online co-op uh, or just local co-op. But of course, right now, with all the stuff going on, not many people are able to play local co-op. So, I don't know. It's kind of a... Uh, I mean, with Steam, I heard you can do the remote play with this game, which is cool. Um, they don't have something like that for Xbox, unfortunately. I wish they did. Like, so that more games could technically have online. That'd be great if they did that. Uh, let's see, the fridge and the pizza? Oh no, the pizza's not an item we need. Plague Tale? Oh, really? I didn't really get into that game from what I played. Yeah, believe it or not, Carnage doesn't like a game? What? What the hell is this nonsense? <laughs> oh man. I, uh... I don't know. I, maybe I have to try it again. Was it easy, uh, Jamie? Damn Tetris piece couch. The hell is this? <laughs> it's like trying to grab a Tetris piece out of a house. Hey, we got to keep that pizza on it, though. Don't fall, pizza. Don't fall. We need you to eat you. Come on. Uh-oh. That pizza is going to be unsanitary in a second. Oh, my God. We made it with the pizza. Well, at least one of them, and a waffle fell off. <laughs> the hell? Yeah, those those items you don't need, so it's not uh, not a big deal. But yeah, I'm I'm digging the art style in this game. It's very nice, colorful, chill. Yeah, look at all that pizza on the bed there. Oh, rip! There go there it goes. Five second rule. not even paying attention to the gold medal time. Oh well. I already got gold medal on it anyway. Uh, although with assist mode on, you see how much time they give you for gold medal on the top right? It's uh, pretty generous. Oh shit, that was a throw right there. Almost got it in. Um, Where is this? Uh, what do we need? There we go. I uh, You could press Y and just... Uh, Highlight all the objects if you don't know what's, you know, you don't see it right away. That's good. I don't remember if that's an assist mode feature or not, but it helps. But yeah, at first the game, honestly, uh, my first initial impression, I wasn't like, I wasn't thinking it could be fun to move stuff. This sounds like a chore, but the way that the game's like presentation and the physics kind of make it fun. Um, you know what I mean? It, it, like I said, though, definitely it would be more fun in co-op, local co-op. If it had online, that would be great. But that said, it's still fun. It's still cool. They got different challenges to do uh, speed runs, gold medals, and do all of the uh, objectives at every level. That's another achievement. So, you know, it, it gets more interesting also. We'll see what other levels will have. Different traps or hazards and stuff like that. Yo, Project Jeff, thank you for the uh, follow. Yeah, look at that. With two minutes to spare on that level, and uh, doesn't let me do the objectives again, but that's fine. We got them done on that one from last time. All right, next, let's do a brand new level that I'm up to here. So, <clears throat> I don't think I've done this one yet. Poolside Pad. 18, 18 objects on this one. All right. Here we go. Hope we don't get anything wet. Yeah, right. If that's an objective in this level, that's going to be hella hard. But we don't, like I said, we got to do the level once, then see the objectives, the optional stuff. So main objective, we always just have to get the items into the truck. Very straightforward. 
but the way to do so is not always easy. So we'll see how it goes. There's also a uh, an arcade mode, which is kind of fun. I'm going to show you guys that too. I've only done one level so far. That le that mode might be actually harder than this mode. So you guys will see what I'm talking about. It's got some rage induced stuff in it. Um, look at this little snake hallway. Got to drag it around this tunnel or curve. And there's something behind the waterfall. <laughs> oh, we can just go in this room and get it. Okay. Um, well, you know what? We can just throw it across the way, like that. <laughs> just fall in there. I don't care. I'll throw, I'll throw it in there. Oh my god, it almost went in. I'll just keep throwing stuff across. Oh shit! <laughs> well, rip. Someone's package got all wet. I wonder if I can get one in there. Nope, but I broke the box. I don't know if that lets me respawn it or what, but uh, we'll get those later on. I'm going to throw them all across now. I don't know if this is the way to do it, but uh, we're doing it anyway. Someone will not be happy with their, with their uh, fragile packages here. This must be like FedEx and uh, and all the delivery services right now. They're like, oh my god, we got so many people needing packages in this quarantine. We're just going to throw shit across the road and <laughs> across the river. Who cares? Get you your packages on time at least. We got a bunch of them over there now. Uh, what else is there here? Lawn chair? I don't know what that is. Computer? Typewriter? Actually, that looked like an NES. Old school <laughs> consoles. Hopefully this is work is going to work. I don't know. This will not go across there, so we're going to have to drag it across. Um, and break the coffee table in the process. Shit. We. There we go. Now to move all this stuff in. Can I just drag it in? Oh, you can. Oh, shit! It almost went into the river! Crap. Damn, there we go. Got a lot of, got a lot of them now. Alright, 15 out of 18. We're almost there already. What's this one? It's like some treasure chest or suitcase. Oh yeah. I wonder if you could zoom in. I don't know if you can. You could throw a beach ball in there even though you don't need to. Take it for the road. Um, there's gotta be stuff in this room. Okay. That's where the last two items are. Oh shit, we can bring the door with us. Um wait, what am I grabbing? Like some little toaster. There was another thing that looked like my character. Or am I seeing things? I don't know, but there's one more suitcase in here, and it would help if I pick it up. Okay. Get through the fucking door, come on! The easiest part! I do all the hard parts, and I can't get through one door? Okay, there we go. Ace moves. Next time we should fill the pool with jello so we could walk across. You can't walk across jello, you would sink. Then I would just eat my way out. That sounds good, yum. <laughs> Full side pad. Gold medal. So there's 30 levels, regular levels, as you can see on the top left. So that's the fourth gold medal that we got. And I, apparently I did... Wait, what? I kept everything dry? Apparently they don't care about me going in the water, so... Don't hold the box for more than three seconds. That sounds a little annoying. That would be easier in co-op. You could just throw it to your teammate or whatever and keep doing like a, uh, a pass and go. But I jumped over the pool, no? I thought I did. Maybe I, oh, I have to actually make it all the way over. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, I'm gonna show you guys the arcade level. I played the first one. Uh, I think it's unlocked already. I unlocked some new character. Okay, this is the thing from last time, yeah. 
arcade. I thought I saved it last time. Oh, a new level in arcade opened. Okay, so we did the first one already. Uh, I'm going to try it again, just for the sake of showing it from the beginning. But uh, I'm not going to lie, this this arcade mode might be a challenge. Uh, you got to do all arcade mode levels for an achievement. And uh, assist mode doesn't really help with this one. Like, uh, you don't. I don't think you need a gold medal on it, but you need to beat all of the arcade levels. Let's double check, guys. Uh, so... So wait, that went up 2%. Wait a minute. Maybe they are going up extra. I don't know. But either way. Um, story levels, gold medals. Beat all story medals. Beat all levels with gold. Achieve 111%. Deliver every pet. Sometimes there's hidden pets in every level. Or some levels. Um, deliver. That's Okay, complete all arcade levels. Complete all level objectives. That's regular story level objectives. Then certain levels and bosses. Sit on every toilet in the game. Complete all memory levels. I don't know. Um, I guess we haven't encountered that yet. Beat a level in story mode with five seconds or less under. Oh, that's easy to just wait until five seconds and do it. Beat a level in under a minute. Okay, that could be tricky. Maybe the first level. Um, complete a haunted levels without s slapping any ghosts. Deliver a hidden console. So there's a lot of collectibles too. Get run over by 125 cars and smash the hidden letterbox with the truck. Uh, so I don't know if that's in the top down area, the uh, the hub or whatever. I'm not sure. But there's no um, achievement to get gold medals in these arcade levels. So that's good. You just have to beat the level. Uh, but as you can see here, it's a little rage inducing. Uh, there's no checkpoint in this level from what I've seen. So you just gotta get good at platforming. Um, it's not that long of a level, but this is the first one and it kind of scares me a little bit, you know? It's a good challenge, though. Yeah, like right there. Fucking fell already. Um, I've beaten this once already and I don't know why it wasn't saving for me. But I could assure you I beat it because I, I think there was an achievement to beat... Uh, to beat an arcade level, right? And that's the weird part, see? Uh, it was not beat one arcade level, but there is an achievement to beat all of them. Uh, but anyway, I, I beat this level, but it's making me do it again. So maybe I didn't save last time I had left the game? I don't know. But yeah. Um, we'll see if I could get it again. If not, I'll move on to the next one that I unlocked. Definitely a little tricky. And yeah. <laughs> the rage begins. The K4 rage. The next one has... Uh, it looked like saw blades, but... I don't know. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Damn it. Alright. Here we go. Now, you could also put the box down there, but it doesn't really help you, because you got to still bring it to the end. So even if the box stays on the ledge... You you don't spawn there, so not a big deal. May as well just grab it the whole time and bring it. Now try to be a little faster with it. Nope, that's not the way to do it. Damn it! Uh, wh that's actually one of the harder parts of the level, in my opinion. So. Alright, we'll get it, though. Again. It's like, always uh, off-stream, do it first try. Not first try, but it took me a little bit. But now I'm having trouble doing it again. So, yeah. Small steps, small steps. There we go. Oh shit! Oh shit! Did you see that? I was on it and I jumped off of it. Oh my gosh. That sucked. Damn it. But yeah, I like these little challenges. They're like almost like virtual reality arcade style levels. What if we just speed run it? You know what? <laughs> That's not gonna work. Oh shit. How did I clutch that? Oh my god. 
I, and then I still fall. I still messed it up. But yeah, that, that might be the way to go, actually, to just quickly get across. Alright, here we go. Let's see. Yeah, I'm so impatient, so I'm not going to, like, wait here. I'm just going to jump, and jump, and jump, and one more. Okay, so we got to jump there. There we go. Okay. Don't fuck up. Yeah, it's definitely tricky, though. I mean, there's no checkpoint, so it's not that easy. Like, you know, if it was checkpoints, this would be an easy section. I wouldn't take my time, but uh, doing it like this, you know? Yeah, that was very sketchy, but we made it. And the, the easy part, but the part that I always get scared of. Because if you rush it... That will happen. That will happen right there. Yeah, we're gonna restart the level anyway. Uh, I wouldn't. I would have respawned there with the same amount of time left. So, may as well try it again. But if not, I will uh, do the next level anyway, since I've already beat this one. But the game doesn't like to save apparently, <laughs> or I don't know. Maybe I I, I quit out too uh, fast after doing it before. But, whatever. But yeah, guys, this is a nice little challenge. Change of pace from the main story levels. Optional, of course. You know, you don't need to do these unless you want the achievement. Which I do. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, shit. That was, that was clutch. Again. Also, the shadow uh, is not that evident, is it? Let me see. A little bit harder to see. I can do it, hopefully. Maybe I can make this jump better than last time. Yes. Oh my god. Like backwards moonwalk there. Alright, it's coming up to that part again. Yeah, I'm just going to play it the uh, the safe way at this point. I'm not taking any chances here. If I'm just like slow steps, I can do it. I made it this far, you know. I'm not going to not going to worry about it. Whoa, it's getting very wobbly. Very wobbly. Wibbly wobbly timey wimey. <laughs> oh shit. Yes! Got it. <sighs> First try. No, just kidding. Oh man. Yeah, it's a little tricky, but you know, you'll get the hang of it. It's it's the controls are still pretty easy to uh to do, so it's not bad to jump platform and stuff. So that's done. That hopefully it's still it saves that it's done for next time. Um, let's try the next arcade level and torture ourselves. Fan service. Alright. <clears throat> okay, what the hell is this? Weird camera angle. I don't know what this is. Oh, you gotta just glide it in to, from the fan? That's kind of unique. That actually seems easier than the last level. Um, if they stay in there. If that's all you gotta do, then that won't be that hard. Uh, you gotta use the air. Hey, how's it going, Epic Quiet?
Yeah, I'm hoping that it's not traveling up though. The the cameras on this one, I don't I don't know. It's a weird one. Wait, I gotta let it go through. Okay, I see how to do it. You gotta time it with the middle. The middle one will carry it across. Right. You gotta carry it. Uh, that one didn't work. All right, so now it's in the middle one. That should go across then. I get it now. Oh my god, it just went on the edge. Son of a... Oh my god, no, 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 no. Alright, here we go. This one's gotta go across. Perfect aim, right there. Come on! Nope! <laughs> Alright, we're, we're just gonna restart this job. and Yeah, I see what you're saying. Restart this level. Uh, but honestly, this one seems easier than the last, because I think you just... Uh, if I'm not mistaken... They, yeah, they just uh, respawn, right? If you mess up. So, I'm going to give it a shot. Let's see if that actually keeps it in. There we go. Now, the right side. I'm sure it's all about, like, time, if you want to get it a fast. Oh, there we go. That went in. Uh, let's, can we get another one in before it moves? I don't know. Nope. No, no, we can't. I don't know how to drop it from there. So yeah, I don't know if you mess up if uh, if the box comes back or not. Hopefully it does. But so far we're three for three, I think. Trying to time it so it goes in. There we go. Sweet. I like the uh, different mechanics, though, they're throwing at us, you know? Okay. Looks like you can go diagonal. Eh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mess with, like, super advanced techniques, but uh, I'll be happy to just beat the level. Um, wow, can, we, can I get them all first try, or will I fuck up the last one? <laughs> Probably mess up the last one. But, I'm gonna try. And, holy shit, we got it! Hell yeah. Totally awesome. Nice. I don't need to get a gold medal. It's optional. Uh, there's no achievement for gold medal on the arcade levels. Uh, there might be leaderboards for it. I'm not sure. That'd be nice. For replay value. But uh, I don't see any leaderboards at the moment. So I don't have enough to unlock the next arcade level. You, got, uh, you basically see on the left it says 15... Uh, little gold icon. You got to get 15 gold medals in the story to unlock that one, and then the other ones are different increments uh, of the gold medals to unlock the other optional arcade levels. So that's fine because you get used to the game, and uh, then you can do better at the arcade levels once you know how to, the main concepts. Um, so let's go to a brand new level. I don't think we were at Jerry's apartment yet. Only 12 items in this one. Okay. And a person who never smashed a TV never tried moving. That's a good point. Uh, let's see. I'm going to start this one in just a minute. Yeah, it's a fun game so far. It, it would be more fun in co-op, like I was saying, but it's still a decent uh, game so far from what I'm playing, and hope they add more, you know, mechanics. It seems like they're adding new stuff every level. Uh, this level is brand new to me, I think. If not if not this one, then one more, but uh, I did play a little off-stream of this one. <clears throat> Alright. Here we go. Um, maybe I didn't play this level yet. I don't remember this one now. Movers, get ready! Co-op is always better, yeah. Yeah, so one of the achievements, you got to hit the mailbox in every level. So why not? Um, and I don't know. What should we start with here? Wow. So it's a small level, but everything's together. Nope, I don't want that in the way. I want to get that box out there. I'm going to throw the objects down the stairs and get all of them later. That might actually save time. What is this, a toaster or a uh, television? 
Oh shit, I just broke something there. That actually respawns, so some items, as you can see, are um, fragile. Hey, what's up, uh, APEJ? EJC. I never know how to say your name, but thanks for stopping by and uh, and Sparks and whatnot. How's it going? Um, let's see if I can drag that one out there. Also, I might have a, a giveaway of this game later on at some point. Uh, right now, I don't, but uh, you never know. I do have a giveaway for some other stuff for Hotline Miami. I posted that earlier, so if you guys want to check that out, there's the tweet right there. Remember to uh, enter any of my giveaways, just be following the channel, and um, follow the other instructions there, which is pretty straightforward, so good luck. Bring the couch. <clears throat> Oh, there's a garden gnome. Do I have to collect them? I don't know if this is like Plants for Zombies. <laughs> you gotta collect all the gnomes. More gnomes than a gnomes garden game. No, not really. Um, those, those, All those gnomes garden games are in my backlog. I don't know about you guys, but I haven't completed one of those yet. Yeah. They're, they're kind of chill. They're okay. Oh my god, can I bring this thing up the freaking ramp? Okay. I don't know why, but this this theme, this music here sounds very 80s. I'm not complaining. Wait, what? I can go out the window there, but I can't go back in. That's a second story apartment. Okay. Um, There's an item in that room that's fragile. So we're going to do anything uh, that you got to do with fragile things <laughs> jump with them yeah totally the right way to, to handle the situation if you want 100% avoid that one gnome garden new home huh did you finish that one lady I have to I haven't done any of them yet I played a little of some of them they're not bad but yeah I know some of them are easier than others Uh, let's see. How do we get in that room? Oh, we just walk into this door. I'm gonna move these objects down the stairs. Uh, and then I can easily get to the bed in the middle. If I don't get stuck on the wall. Can I break the door down, the wall down here? I wonder. I'm gonna try to grab the door. No. Uh, that I can throw out throw out there. Actually, wait a minute. I can throw that. Oh my god, we're messing up everything in this guy's house. Um, here, I'm going to drag this bed out there. And yeah, like I said, the levels are definitely going to get more complex. You're going to have to rearrange stuff and move it around. That bed is like half off the, uh, <laughs> the floor now. Okay, there we go. And I got some items at the bottom of the stairs that I can grab after. I get this big bed out of the way. Uh, yeah, I might be able to throw them through the window. But it landed close enough. That's fine. And the last two items are right in here, so we'll get the gold medal. I think. As long as I don't mess up here. Which I did. <laughs> this damn table! Get the fuck out of the way, table! There. Oh my god, can I do it? We got one item left. 15 seconds remaining. Yeah, we got it. There we go. You finished all of them except New Home. Oh, wow, nice. Uh, the last three, two levels. Oh, man, you're almost there. But they're probably uh, probably ridiculous. Even with a walkthrough, they're tough. Crazy. You just gotta be fast, I guess. But yeah, this, uh, this game, once again, is uh, moving out. And it's coming out on the 28th. Um, Xbox One and other platforms as well. Uh, so check out that link to get to the pre-order page if you like what you see here. And we're going to move on to... Uh, let's see. I'm, I'm not going to do the objectives on this level for now. Let's just move on to a new level that I haven't seen. I have, that was a new one to me as well. 
But let's go to another new level. I'm not going to show, like, too many levels, you know. But we'll play for a while, and then I might uh, stream something else after that or later on today. I was thinking of doing some uh, cryo gear, which I just did a giveaway of. And it's a little Metroidvania indie game. It's not bad. So uh, the price of this one is actually... 25 uh, bucks uh, US uh, in whatever regional equivalent. Um, yeah, I'm not going to lie. It's a little high of a price. So it, I recommend it only if you're going to play co-op or if you really like this game single player, then it's, you know, what you're seeing. It's right up your alley then. But you know, if you like games like Overcooked and stuff, that's also by Team 17. I would say you would probably like this. But it is a little bit of a high price. I'm not going to lie. Um... So it would be nice on sale or Game Pass. Unfortunately, it's not right away. But maybe they will later. Team 17 does do a lot of Game Pass stuff. So, you never know. Casa de Cliff. Let's try this level. <laughs> I love that on the bottom. I just noticed it. Smooth moves. Please don't sue us. <laughs> I mean, it's definitely a quality game, it's just, it might be a little too high asking price from the get-go. Could have been a nice launch sale, you know, maybe, in my opinion, but, oh well. Um, remember, lift you with your back, not your arms. They didn't give us a safety manual. <laughs> Uh-oh. Rip. Oh, so if you don't press A, if you're patient, unlike me, uh, you can actually get an overview of the level and see uh, where everything is. So you can plan your route and strategy. So that's cool. Oh, that's awesome. I wonder if you could play an arcade or pool table over there. <laughs> Billiards. Or jump in the pool, for that matter. The other pool, right? All the puns. All right, we're good to go. Six minute uh, timer. Where should we start here? Oh, break that. Just get through the glass. Who cares? We could throw that right into the truck. Uh, oops. Now I'm like really rushing. That bed? Do I need the bed? No, I don't. I don't need the bed. I need to get this item, though. So you can't grab that one. It's too heavy. But can go around. Yeah, I, I really like that Y button uh, highlights everything if you need to know... Uh, where stuff is, and you miss it. That's good. We're just gonna crawl, uh, crawl on top of the countertop here. Who cares? This person's kitchen. Uh, they're they're not gonna like me in their kitchen. Then again, they are moving out of this this house, so <laughs> I guess that's the point. Great, great moving service though. No uh, liabilities whatsoever. Um, there we go. Drag this, uh, refrigerator down. That was heavy. There we go. What the hell? Did my character just fart? Did you guys hear that? Or was that some character nearby that farted? I don't even know. That was great. Throw this lawn chair down here just for fun. Um... Here, get my coffee. <laughs> Can I grab the coffee? Oh, too late. Broke the coffee cup. Uh, how are we going to get this out of there? We got to get this couch around. We got to move that table out of the way. And then align it so that it's uh, vertical, right? And then we can grab it from that side. Okay, there we go. Don't fall in the pool! Oh no, don't get stuck there. That would suck. Jeez. There we go. <clears throat> there's a lot of items over there. Oh snap, there's a there's a game console controller on the on the table. Oh, did that go in the? Did that go in or over the truck? It actually went in, I think. Maybe. Shit. Are we gonna make uh, gold medal in this one? I don't know. This one's actually got a lot of stuff to get. So we gotta get the TV. 
Pull that out of there. Shit, we got stuck. Yeah, I'm just going to drop them there and then it'll be easier to get from the ledge, from the stairs. So I can throw them out of that area. There we go. Can I jump out that window there? Okay, yeah, you can. Uh, can I throw them in? Ah, eh, good enough. I'll get those items in there before I forget where they are. There. Yeah, I think we'll get gold medal easily. We have time. Once you know the right route you want to take, uh, it's not too bad. Especially on assist mode, like I said. So it makes it easier to get the achievements as well, which is cool. You can play at your own pace, and uh, any age, you know, anybody can basically play this game. It's very fam family friendly for the most part. Except for some stupid humor like fart jokes and whatnot, but who cares? Oh, damn, it's an arcade machine. Can I throw that? I don't think I can. Nope. There's two more items. All right. Sweet. Oh, you can take a shortcut. Look at this, guys. You can jump across up here. Speed run hype. You gotta bring this whole arcade uh, pinball machine. Damn. And there's only one more, uh, one more thing. But yeah, I'm gonna try a level without um, the other. There's a, there's a thing in assist mode where you can, uh, where it, all the stuff gets, you know, this... Oh my god, what the hell? <laughs> the car just had a mind of its own, apparently. That just brought the box on its own. Uh, but yeah, there's an assist mode option you can take off that if, if you want to, where, uh, not originally on, you know, it's, uh, it's one where the stuff does not disappear when you throw it into the truck. So you actually have to, like, organize all your stuff in the truck, and if it falls out of the truck, it actually, um you know, you have to put it back in. You have to have all the items in the truck at the end. So let's put that on. It could be it could be fun and a little more challenging. So I'll do that next level. I, I forgot about the mailbox. I think I had to hit the mailbox. I don't think I did it. So, oh well. Do it next time. Rise and shine. It's our newest employee, Sunny. Hello, Sunny. Okay. Summer, whatever. I can't pronounce that word. Chalet? Chalet? Is it a French word? Summer house, whatever we're calling it. <laughs> Alright, hold on a second, guys. One minute. Be right back. Alright guys, I am back. Sorry about that. And uh, let's go on to the next level. Move fast or die trying, the boss. The boss man. This is one fancy vacation home. Every day is a vacation when you get to haul heavy objects. Damn right. Roll out. Alright, I'm going to pause it and switch the uh, assist mode thing. And you know what? Let's try seeing how hard it is without any assists on. So longer time limits, no. The objects won't disappear at delivery. Reduce difficulty. Um, skip level on. Alright, the other ones don't matter anyway. It's mainly these three. So we're going to try it like that and see how it goes. Uh, six minutes on the clock there. Do they give longer? Let me see if, if you put assist mode on here. It's still six minutes on that one. Unless the bronze time is different. 
But uh, I'm going to put on no assists and restart the job. Okay. <clears throat> oh, wow. Holy shit. Look at the time now for gold medal. Three minutes and 20 seconds. That is quite a difference. You got to really, like, get good at the level and know what you're doing. Um... Oh wow, S sliding down a, uh, <laughs> what the hell was that? No, I'm going to restart this one. I'm, I'm going to try it for gold medal without any assist, but that is definitely more challenging. You got to really know the level, learn it, you know, throw everything in the right spots and hope that it, everything goes well. Doesn't look like a lot of room for leeway, uh, especially when I missed hitting the mailbox right away. Uh, but yeah. Let me see if I can just throw this stuff down there. Is that one of the items that I need? This is not going well. Um, can I just like launch everything down the hill, the slide? That might work. Move this out of the way. Shit, that's not what I wanted to do. Damn it, go down the slide. There we go. Damn it, everything's like blocking the way. This is definitely a challenging one. But this might be the way to go. Just throw it down the slide. Everything's gotta go down the slide. Hopefully they don't just respawn. We'll see what happens. Um, not sure how to get this one down there, though. Oh, wow. You can actually go around there. Where are you moving to? What's up, crazy? Yeah, right? I don't know where this, where these people are moving. Every time they just... They're just moving stuff out of people's houses. Very, very carefully, as you could tell. <laughs> Fragile boxes. No big deal. Just throw it down the fucking cliff. <laughs> uh... Yeah, wouldn't you want this to be your moving delivery service? So reliable. Just like that reliable delivery game, or whatever it was. That was another fun game. Um, we got both of those items here. We're already one, two minutes in. There's going to be a, a ton of stuff at the base of that cliff, or whatever. Um, there's a golf caddy. Move or die trying. Move or stealing. <laughs> Yeah. Can I throw these out the other side? I'm not sure. I'm going to check out the other side of the house. I like that you could just get through that side. There. Man, there's so many things. All the things. Nope. Missed it. Damn it. No, it doesn't have online, unfortunately, crazy. Um, I wish it did. I was mentioning that earlier. It's kind of a shame. Uh, wait, we can put stuff down this, this way, too? Oh, that's going to be way easier. Look at all that stuff that's here. We still got to get it into the truck, though. Um, we're probably not going to make it in time. Also, you see how it stays now? You got to, like, line everything up perfectly. Uh, like, this level is meant for two-player, like, some of these are gonna, you know, if you're not gonna worry about gold medal without assist mode, like, see, now we're at silver ready. I mean, I could throw some of these in, but not everything. Um, you gotta make everything fit as well. So, as you can see, it's not an easy challenge, it's, it's a good challenge. But yeah, it's, I agree, it, it would be awesome if it had online, but... Uh, the only thing is they have Steam Remote Play, which is sort of online. But you, as you can see, this game would be a lot easier in co-op. Now, like I said, though, uh, if you missed it earlier, I was mentioning how you can do achievements with assist mode on. So right now I'm trying it with it off just to see how challenging it is. And it is, t it is a nice challenge. But we are almost there.
So I'm going to get those two other items and just beat the level normally for now. You know what we could do? Eh, I'm not going to worry about that. I was thinking of doing the achievement where you have to wait till the last five seconds. But that'll be boring. I don't want to make you guys just wait and watch it for me not doing anything, you know? That wouldn't be fun. So I'm not going to worry about that one right now. But yeah, uh, if you're playing solo, I would recommend putting the assist mode on, seeing how tough it is now to do this stuff. Uh, also, if you know the tricks, like, see that? Now I can knock that out there and save time instead of pulling it the whole way. So as long as I get this one to touch the truck, that'll make it be in there. And I can't do that, apparently. So it's not going. Why is it not going? Get in there! Come on! <laughs> there we go. Just had to budge it a little bit. But there we go. That's uh, that's the hard way of doing the level. The, the normal default way. Um, props to anyone that can do those gold medals without any assist mode, though. Because, like, look at that time. You needed 3 minutes and 20 to get gold. Apparently I did the ghost snowboarding goal without even realizing. Uh, so you know what? I, I take that back. Uh, I was first saying that it was an issue, and I was complaining about the game, telling, you know... But it actually tracked the objective, even though uh, I didn't know what it was. So I, I like that idea now, that now that you know uh, you don't have to replay it twice. If you kind of guess the objectives, you can, you know, essentially get them completed, but most of the time you don't know what, you know, what they're going to be. So, but anyway, I take that gripe I had earlier back uh, about the game. That's, that's not, uh, not an issue apparently. So yeah. Um, uh, let's see. Love how to see that stuff looks after you load it on. <laughs> I know, imagine just driving with all that stuff in the truck and uh, seeing if it makes it to its destination <laughs> safely or not. I don't know. Moving it into the new house. <laughs> um, let's see what the next area is. They're pointing to it. And we're going to put on... Uh, we're going to put these back on. I'm not using these two anyway, so I don't need that. Wait, is it? Lighter two-player items. I don't know. We're just going to put it on. But uh, next level, Casa... I thought we did that one already. I did gold medal on that one. Um, 21 Slick Street. Table is in four parts. All right, see you later, lady. Thanks for stopping by. No problem. Uh, 21 Slick Street. We're going to try this level. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably only going to do another level or two anyway, guys. Uh, I don't want to show too much of the game. Of course, it's a preview stream. And, um, you know, want to save... Of course, there's a bunch of levels in the game still. It's like 30 levels, and we've only done like six or seven. But, uh, yeah, there's a lot of lot of levels, a lot of content. Um, so, yeah, let's see this one. Packmore's number... Here she stretches every day. She must be really tall. <laughs> I like the humor and the personality of the game. Oh shit, there's a sheep crossing the road! Sounds like the opening to a joke. Can we grab the sheep? <laughs> oh shit. Ah! Sheep, get back here. I'm gonna throw you in the mailbox. I'll throw you in the truck. Oh my god, you need the sheep anyway? <laughs> that might be an objective. You're welcome, sheep. I saved you. Oh yeah, that's... Actually, an objective, guys. You gotta find the animal in the level. Every level has an animal, I think, hidden or not hidden. And you have to uh, deliver them as well. So maybe they're delivering them to an animal shelter. Who knows? <laughs> this thing is stuck in the door. We're gonna have to go around. Uh, can I get the bed out of there? Damn, you rough on the plugs. <laughs> oh shit, we can't get this thing. Let me see if I can move it. We gotta move all those plates. Oh, sorry about that uh, furniture and all her china that was uh, in her kitchen or whatever. <laughs> Rip. All that expensive stuff is gone. <laughs> okay. Oh, we need the suitcase as well? I didn't even know. Oh shit, we got run over. That's an achievement, by the way, to do it a uh, hundred something times. Totally what I meant to do. Oh shit. The bed got run over. 
Oh my god, the bed is dragging <laughs> He's dragging me along with the, the car. Is that an oil slick? There went the China. The China went all the way to China. Oh shit. <laughs> um, okay, here we go. We got the fridge. We got everything but the kitchen sink, right? <laughs> everything and the kitchen sink. We got a toaster. Toaster guy will pick up a toaster, so that makes sense. Oh my god. Did I... I don't even know what happened there. Love the oil footprints. Yeah, the details are cool. <laughs> I didn't even notice it until you said that. So. Oh, we can we can throw some stuff from the, from the second story soon, guys. This will be fun. Who's ready for some... Uh, some second floor basketball? <laughs> oh yeah, we're going to break some glass stuff here. We're going to pull all this shit out. <laughs> oh, shit. Alright, here we go. Geronimo! <laughs> oh, man. Bombs away. <laughs> Can we drag this out the window? The couch? That'd be great. I don't know if I can do, if I can do that for it. All these mannequins... Uh, we gotta bring the couch down the boring way. Oh well. Ah, damn it, we're stuck. There we go. Ah, the oil is so annoying. There. No, I mean it's not annoying. It's it's they they put hazards and traps and things to make it interesting, which is cool. I like that idea. Um, yeah, we're easily going to get the gold medal with the assist mode on, see? Not a question. But that's awesome that they allow achievements for assist mode. Some games do that, some games don't. So, it might not be that hard of a completion. Probably will take a while, but it's fun. Hey, speaking of achievements, there's a trophy or achievement icon thing in the back. Well, let me see if we need that TV as well, right? Yeah, we do. There's three items and they're all up here. So what I'm going to do is try to move this couch out of the way. Oh my god, that love seat has a mind of its own. All right. Now, with this TV that's already half broken, we're going to throw out the window. No, we're not, because I can't lift it. Feel the cars make you, like, frogger. Oh, yeah. I'm not even worried about the, the time, because we have a gold medal in the works right here easily. Um, there we go. That's another one. Throw that one down. And then if I can throw the TV down from here, that would be cool if I can grab it from here. Can I? Oh, I can. That was a nice nice move there. Wait, what? Did you guys see that? One of the items just fell off the screen. Anyway. For the last item, I think we gotta make it epic, guys. We gotta try to we gotta try to make an epic finale. So I'm gonna try to do a three-pointer shot for three. Ah, oh, not quite, but we almost got run over. <laughs> Get the TP. I'm gonna try that next time. Also, did I? Uh, I don't remember if I hit the mailbox that time. I'm forgetting about it, but oh well. For five easy payments of twelve ninety nine and P A P and H, you can too. You too can be walking on a cloud. I think I'll order my smooth moves inner souls today. <laughs> oh oh shit! He just moved the car out of the way. <laughs> he's he's like I don't have time to wait. Oh man! Still got gold medal. Sweet. Oh look at that! We messed up the trophies or achievements. <laughs> if it is not nailed, you it goes out the window. Yeah, right? <laughs> Did slap it? Uh, hopefully, if I didn't restart it and mess and not do it in the beginning, I don't know. But uh, you can always go back to the levels later on and see. Oh, we're about to get an achievement. So, you know what? Let's actually try to get one more gold and then we'll probably call it there for the stream. That'll be a good preview. A um, couple levels, not too much. Don't want to show all of the game. 
slap every mailbox. There we got progress. I'm loving the uh, achievement tracker. Every game needs this shit. Um, we didn't get the pet on that level, did we? Uh, I don't remember. But yeah, there's a there's a level select, so you can always go back and get what you miss. Not a big deal. Uh, you know what? Also, guys, while uh, before I do the last level, how about a random giveaway? I'm gonna actually start a um, a raffle for a random Xbox One indie game code, uh, Rattalaka game. So uh, not this game, unfortunately. I don't have a code for this one right now, but. If you guys want a, w a chance to win an easy Rattalaka game, um, you just have to be following and type in exclamation mark Fraffle, and you'll have an opportunity to win a, a chance to win a code for uh, Duck Souls Plus Rattalaka game. Hey, what's up, Print? Thanks for the sparks. And uh, thanks for following earlier as well, I saw. Um, let's see. So let's try another one more level. Snot's Berry Farm. I like the hub world. You just drive around aimlessly and knock cars away. It's kind of chill, just random, but you get to the level here. Um, ten items only on the farm. How hard can that be, right? <laughs> Yo, thanks for the sparks again, uh, Print. Lightning Drink. Never moved a farm animal before. Just move it. Think of it as a moving, a fuzzy microwave. Okay. You need some power thirst. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Power thirst. <laughs> that was a great YouTube video. Wait, what the hell? A rake just fucking hit me. It's a trap. Did you see that? That was great. It will help you move a million items. <laughs> All the items. All right, so we got to grab... What is this stuff here? Well, we got to get all the chickens in the coop, apparently. We got to break down the hay wall. Not a paywall, a hay wall. This game only has a hay wall, not a paywall. Yay. <laughs> I don't even know. Sideshow carnage. Oh, we got to get this in there, too? Yeah, this won't be that bad, this level. There's only ten items. Granted, the chickens are running around aimlessly, so... This would be a hell of a level if you had to do it uh, with them staying in the truck. You would have to block off... Like I said, with that other option on, you have uh, the stuff does not disappear. So that means you would need to, you know, barricade in the chickens with the, the hay. So, yeah. That would be challenging. How do I get in that one, though? Huh. Do I have to climb on top of that, maybe? Let me see if I could bring this with me. You have to use it as a stepping stone? Oh, that's cool. Yeah. You do, actually. Oh, that moves that out of the way now, so there's a shortcut there. Remove the hay bale, yeah. <laughs> Chicken. Oh, this mud slows you down also. It's like ice a little bit. Hello, sheep. Holy sheep, this level is cool. <laughs> oh man. Oh shit. Oh sheep. Rawr. <laughs> uh Remove the hay bale. Muddy footprints also. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I don't even know what uh, where the other one is. Oh, there's one back here. What are you doing with that sheep? <laughs> oh, shit. The rake is about to get me again. Uh-oh. That sheep. Another sheep. Oh, damn it. <laughs> oh my god, come back. The sheep is like too smart. Oh my god, what the hell? <laughs> How? Ah! Oh shit. The sheep is about to get slapped by the rake. 
<laughs> now I know why this level only had 10 quote unquote items. Uh, <laughs> these damn sheep and chickens. It almost reminds me of that game Flock from XBLA. Remember that one? Old school arcade game. I know Print remembers that one. You ever complete that one, Print, by the way? I never finished that one. I think I got like 10 out of 12. How do I get to... Oh, wait. Wait, what is that pig doing? He's doing something questionable. <laughs> that doesn't look right. Oh, you own it. Okay. I thought you would have played that one before. Huh. This pig or whatever is uh, <laughs> apparently twerking in the mud. Um, sorry, sorry, pig. I'm gonna have to take you out of your little safe place over here. I need to deliver you because apparently some moving company, someone wants animals. <laughs> Look at this, though, guys. You could just—I'm just gonna do a jump for joy dance with the pig. Oink, oink, oink. Whee! <laughs> oh man. And there's an achievement right there. Moving on up. That's uh, 10 gold medals. <laughs> so, yeah guys, I think that's a good place to stop uh, right now because it's a preview stream. I don't want to show too much, like I said. And uh, it seems like a, an enjoyable game though. And if you guys like games like Overcooked or Co-op, base stuff. Uh, this is a fun local co-op game. I wish it had online, like I said many times. But maybe they'll add it later on if it's uh, if it does well. Um, single player is pretty good. There's a lot of content. 30 levels or so in the, in the story mode. There's arcade mode. Um, levels you unlock there. There's some other challenges also I saw. And yeah, it's a solid game overall. Uh, so yeah, guys. My, I might stream again later on today. Um, also, who won, the, who won the code? Let me check. Uh, there. I almost missed the code. Uh, congrats, M317. Yep, I'm going to send you a, a code of Duck Souls Plus right after the stream. Uh, so I'll whisper that on Mixer. And uh, in the meantime, guys, uh, there's a giveaway going on for Hotline Miami Collection as well. So uh, enter that if you haven't yet. And uh, thanks, everyone, for stopping by for all of the follows and checking out the stream. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I might be back later on after dinner for another stream. If not, then tomorrow. But uh, yeah, I'm going to host, uh, I think, Stallion streaming. I'm not sure who else. I'm going to see who's on and, and host them. So stick around, show some love, and uh, if, you, if you want to, uh, and enjoy their stream as well. So see, see you later, guys. Have a good one, and take care.